Hey guys, it's Tiffany from SuperEasyMath.com and this lesson is brought to you by TeacherTube Studios. Today, I'm going to show you how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Surface area of a rectangular prism. To find the surface area of a rectangular prism, you want to use the formula 2BH plus 2BW plus 2HW. The formula is made up of three smaller formulas, which all find the area of one side of the prism. Then that amount is multiplied by 2 to account for the matching side with the same dimensions. Basically what I mean when I'm saying that is there's this side over here, the one that's directly facing us and it has a matching side. It is on the other side of this rectangular prism. So I'm gonna find the area of just this one rectangle and then multiply it by two so I know the area of both this side and that side together. Then we do the same thing for each um, pair of sides on this rectangular prism. So you could think of this first part of the formula as representing the front panel and the back panel added together the middle part could represent the two side panels and there's one over here that I can't see and the last part of the formula represents the top and the bottom okay the answer will be written in square units for example 472 inches squared example number one let's start by rewriting our formula 2BH plus 2BW plus 2HW. 2B, and that stands for my base. In this case, the base is 20. And if I were to just write this in and not put any type of symbol in between, it's gonna look like 220. So I need to make sure I either put a multiplication sign or maybe a parentheses. I think I'm gonna go with the parentheses so that the B and the H are in the parentheses together after I rewrite them as their number value. Um, just to kind of make it clear to me, oh, the two numbers that were in the parentheses are the numbers that were originally my variables, or the letters is what that means. Um, and then I still have my two out here to the side, which I'm multiplying against those. So multiply, and my height is 10. I'm gonna add that to two in my base again. We already said it's 20. Multiply that by my width, and that's 7. And then I'm going to add that to my height, which is 10, and my width, which is 7. Okay, now one thing I do want to explain is I did not um, stress myself about which side was my base, which side was my height, and which side was my width. And that is because, if you think about it, if this rectangular prism was turned on its side or its back or whatever, the base wouldn't be the base anymore if it was turned on its side. The base would actually be the height. Um, and the width wouldn't be the width anymore. The width would be, you know, something else. Maybe the, the base at that point. So you want to make sure whatever you decide to use for each point, you stay consistent with that. But it doesn't really matter. So basically with the 20, I made this my base. Um, the 10 was my height and the 7 was my width but I could have made the 10 my width and my the 7 my height and kept the 20 as my base it really doesn't matter because really that is very realistic if we were to just roll this prism forward then the number that would be the height would be the 7 so it doesn't matter which ones you use but you want to repeat them at the correct time. So you wouldn't want to end up saying for the first section of my problem, I'm going to use 20 as the base. For the second section, I'm going to use um, the 10 as the base. And then for the last section, we don't need base, so you wouldn't have to worry about it. So basically my point is whatever I do decide to use for my base, my width, and my height, I need to make sure I stay consistent in my entire problem. But it doesn't really matter which ones I choose to be which. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through and just multiply all of my numbers that are inside my parentheses. So here I have 2. I'm going to multiply that by 20 times 10, which is 200. 
I'm going to add that to 2. And now I have 20 times 7, which is 140. And then I have 2 again, and 10 times 7, which is 70. Now I'm going to multiply my 2 by the number on the inside of the parentheses. So 2 times 200 is 400. 2 times 140 is 280. And 2 times 70 is 140. Now I'm going to add all these numbers, and I get 820. My units here are centimeters, and my answer is squared because we are finding the surface area. Let's move on to example number two. Example number two. So I'm going to start by rewriting my formula again. 2BH plus 2BW plus 2HW. Before I plug anything in this time, I'm going to go ahead and identify all of the parts of my rectangular prism. So I have my base is 8, my width is 5, and my height is also 5. So I have 2 and my base is 8 times H, which is 5, plus 2, and my base is 8 times 5, those two terms, the first two terms this time, ended up looking exactly the same, and that's because my width and my height are both exactly the same. They're both 5. And then I'm going to add that to 2, and my height is 5 times my width, which is also 5. So now I'm going to multiply everything that I have inside of my parentheses, and I have 2. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 2, 8 times 5 is 40 again, 2 and 5 times 5 is 25. Now I'm going to multiply my 2 by my number inside my parentheses, 2 times 40 is 80, plus 2 times 40 is 80 again, plus 2 times 25 is 50. So now I have 80 plus 80 plus 50, and that is 210. My units here are inches and squared. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three. Two base times height plus two base times width plus two height times width. My base is 14 times my height, which is six plus 2, my base of 14, times my width, which is 10, plus 2, my height is 6, times my width is 10, squeeze that in right there, now I'm going to multiply everything that's inside my parentheses, 2, and I have 12 times 6 is 84, plus 2, my 14 times my 10 is 140, and 2 times 6 times 10 is 60. Now I'm going to multiply my 2 times my number inside the parentheses. 2 times 84 is 186 plus 280 plus 120. I'm going to add 168 plus 280 plus 120. I get 568 feet squared. Let's recap how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. The formula used to find the surface area of a rectangular prism is 2BH plus 2BW plus 2HW. The formula is made up of three smaller formulas which all find the area of one side of the prism, then that amount is multiplied by 2 to account for the matching side with the same dimensions. Your answer is going to be written in square units. For example, 472 inches square. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.